How's it going everybody, Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. Today we're going to be doing Project Zomboid on Windows. So the first thing we're going to need to do is download Steam CMD. So just navigate to your favorite browser here. I've already got it open, but you just type in Steam CMD here. Should be the first link that comes up. We're going to hit Windows here. And then this little one right here at the end of this, we're just going to click on that to download it. And then save it. And then we can minus that out or close it out. We don't need it. Right, now we're going to navigate to our downloads folder here. And then we're going to extract it. All right, now that it's extracted, I'm going to cut this. Go back to my C drive here. Create a new folder. We'll call it servers. Go into that folder and we're gonna paste that uh, Steam CMD file in there. I'm gonna create another folder while we're in here. We'll call it PZ server. All right. And then we need to open up Steam CMD to let it initialize and download all the necessary files that we're gonna need. So let's go ahead and do that now. Perfect. Now that that's done, we're going to go back to our folders here. Go to PZ server. Click in here. We're going to copy that uh, directory listing or whatever, whatever you want to call it. All right, then we're going to do force underscore install underscore DRR. We're going to paste that in at a backslash there. And then hit enter. Then we're going to log in as anonymous. Hit enter. Now we're going to app underscore update and then the app ID, which is 380870. Then we do validate at the end of that and hit enter. This is going to download all the game files that we need. So let's let that finish. Alrighty, now that that's fully installed, we can go ahead and exit out of this just by typing an exit here. And as you can see, we have Star Server 32-bit, 64-bit, and uh, no Steam. Um, so what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is, uh, I'm running 64-bit operating system, so I'm going to start the 64-bit version. Um, we're going to do this so we can download all the uh, actual server files that we need, and we're going to set the admin password uh, for this method as well. So I'm going to let this run here for a second. It's going to prompt us to do an admin password. All right, now we want to do an admin password. I'm just going to do one, two, three for easy convenience. Uh, do not select one, two, three as your admin password, please. We're just going to let this finish up running through. All righty. Now that the server is fully started, you know this by it's saying server started right here. We're going to go ahead and close this. All right, so now the server config files, um, they put them in a weird place. So if you go to your PC here, we're going to go to C drive users and then the user that you're logged in, in my case is administrator. As you can see, we're, we have a new folder called Zomboid and then under server and then we have server test that I and I, and this is all of our settings. So change whatever you want to change here for your settings, you know, like uh, your server name, call it a uh, Lucian's test server. Funsies, right? Max players, all that stuff. When you get done, you're just going to save that. You can do Control S or you can go up to File and hit Save. And then you can close that. You're done with that once you got all the settings. Now, to uh, open the ports in your firewall, you're just going to uh, go to Firewall and we're going to there's Defender Firewall. Open that up. We're going to click Advanced Settings here. And then under Inbound Rules, we are going to create a new rule here. Do Port, Next, TCP. Uh, all these ports are needed are going to be UDP, so we don't have to worry about that. We can do 16261 uh, through 16262. Uh, hit Next, Allow. Leave all that as default. We can call this PZ server 
and you can name it whatever you want, by the way. And then we're going to do another one real quick. Port as well. UDP as well. And then this one is going to be uh, 8766 through 8767. We're going to hit next, allow connections, next, next. We'll just call this PG Server 2. You can name it again, name it whatever you want, then hit finish, and then your ports are opened. After that, that's all the ports that we need to do. So then we can just simply close all this stuff out, reopen our folder, uh, go back to our C drive, under servers, PZ server. And then we can just turn our server back on. And once that gets booted up, we can connect to our server and actually play it. And then other people will be able to play it as well, as long as you port forward on your router. I do not go over that in this video just because everyone's router is different. So it's kind of hard to uh, make videos uh, for port forwarding for everybody. So best case, if you want to port forward, just look it up. Look up your router on Google and look up how to port forward on that router. And that's it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you on the next one.